Hi there, I just had a revert from a client that wanted the artwork um, change from their designers to send through some different artwork. So I was looking at a way of actually being able to manage the textures inside of Unreal rather than what I was doing is going back to SketchUp, uh, skinning it and then re-importing it. And basically there's three different types of uh, texture applications and I'll be showing you the one now. It is to size an actual UV texture uh, in Unreal. There is a video that I did to show you how to create world aligned uh, textures that are used for uh, seamless textures like bricks and tiles and so forth. You can watch that. And then I'll do another one on decals, how you place decals onto environments. But I thought I'd just record it now while I'm busy with it. So this is the actual surface or material that I want to edit. I've done a few now already. Um, this is the one that I want to edit. So I'm just preparing it for, for different texture. If I just drop it as normal material, I've got to go and size it, like I said, outside in SketchUp. So how do I go about doing it inside the program? Select the wall and then under the details panel, I can look under material. And yeah, I can see that I've used an instance uh, the label says instance, so I don't want to go to instance, I want to go to the, the actual uh, material itself. So if I come here, go with the search button, it pulls it up to this actual material. So if I double click on here, um, then we open this up. And what I need to do is, now I've created the others and I've just copied the actual um, nodes and then pasted it into each one but I'll, I'll show you how I'd, I do it first of all so you get the idea so I'm going to take your normal material you know if you have a texture and a roughness etc or whatever you want to add but in this case I want to be able to manipulate the UV so what I used to do is go press U click on there and then I used to go with S for a oops a single parameter which I used to say size and then M for multiply and then I used to take that in there and join these two up here but what this allowed me to do is only to change the actual texture size not be able to work on the the U and the V coordinates okay so what I propose we rather do instead of doing something like this is we can instead of putting a single unit in here I'm going to delete this and I press M for multiply put in another multiply now there might be other ways of doing it I just haven't researched them yet so I go again S for a single parameter and S again single parameter I don't know this thing just puts the S's types it in automatically it doesn't give me at least a little pause I'm sure they'll sort it up in an update so I'm going to just call one length so I don't know which is length and which is width but I'm going to just name it that for the sake of description Oh, you know, I commonly do this. I just change the capitalization there. And let's go with length three. So what I basically do is I've got these two that I want to alter and I have a multiply node so I can take it in there, in B, and then the output here I put into another multiply. So I'm doing what I showed you earlier, but I'm just having better control over both coordinates to to place it there and then it goes in there now uh, you can do this and make it into a uh, or a comment or group thing but what i do is basically i go control c so i've actually copied these here so if i'm changing other materials that i've already created now i can just paste it in now going forward in future when i create materials i'll i'll do it this way as a standard rule of course so let me save that. Can I just show you what, what effect it has when we are able now to go into the actual material to edit it. So say the person wanted this material changed. I can basically go and find it over here again. So we have it over here. But in this case, I've got, I think, the instance yeah, the instance is what I've placed here, or I could just take it and place the instance there. When I double click the instance, uh, we should see extra parameters here. Am I on the proper one? 
let me just see oh that instance is on the other side of the wall i think we're basically working with this one let's see that yeah that's the one so i have to create let's go there i have to create a instance of this one let me do it to create an instance and i'll drop this on this wall you know it i think i am working on the flip side here let me see yeah i think i'm working on the flip side let me control z with it so this one let's see okay so this one is the other side i actually didn't change the correct material but this will show you quite well what's necessary remember i did control c and i selected it now if i don't have it here i can always open up the other material and then press ctrl c okay but in this case i've got it in the buffer already so i go ctrl v and there we have it and then i just join that up to the uv so i'm basically doing the same setup that i did in the other one and then save that okay sometimes it's good to see the the mistakes one makes so you learn a bit better so we've got that one and this is the instance of this wall okay now there's something strange happening in that probably the size of that is not correct so i can just go in here i could either go set it in the material itself um, but i'm going to do it here so it's set my default length as zero and so if i put this in as default length as one okay can you see what's happening there yeah that's what we're looking at so if this texture was a bit smaller i could actually move it in this space here and do the edits over here and we could see a real time so if i had to choose length to then we would come up with a situation like this um, so if i go to 0.5 it will zoom in much more 0.5 okay so you get the idea um, i'm able to move it there so in this case it was one and one so we have the texture in that place okay and for those of you who are worried seeing a word upside down it's because this design has some things that are flipped so when we zoomed in it was there let's go and quickly uh, see what we can do on this inside i think i did some little barber trick here that also um, messed this up a bit okay so let's select this i think this is the one this is the instance let's see uh, that's the one we were working with i think this is the one that yeah this one's got a lot of roughness on here so maybe we should go into the actual material and go and set the x and y as a default on one okay so the x and y we're setting default on one so you with me on that one when i copied it across these the width and the length that i named there were basically on zero that's why it came in uh, making a zero dimensions of the actual texture so i'm going to make a default to one and one so it will basically use the actual default settings of the texture proportions from the word get go okay there can we see there so if, if we have to go in there now um, that's the material do i have an instance of that i think this is the instance yes so we'll drop the instance on there then it's easier to edit the instance okay so we enable length uh, i didn't label this but i think this is the roughness that's why it's so shiny i'm going to make it say 0.5 there we are so i mean i can go rename the thing from none to roughness so i know what it's going about so we have that if i wanted to make that maybe uh, zoomed in a bit I never understand this 0.5 story and it's like you go the opposite way to what it's supposed to okay uh, we're not seeing any of those images go two and two then you have it almost tiled quite a bit but hopefully you get the idea here now that you are able to manipulate it in that way um if if the length of it is not totally correct say you go in let's just do this so you go in and you need this particular thing to be proportioned differently then you could start you know doing this kind of thing and maneuvering it around a bit but then at least you got an x and y coordinate that you're working with 
okay so hopefully that that helps you out here and I'm just busy sorting out all of these areas again um, like I said in this case here we've got a a visual over here and they're wanting to change it now so they might send me through a visual that's of different proportions so instead of me going and resizing and editing I can bring it in and then choose the length and width that suit me in this specific area okay so hopefully that has been of help I will um, end this uh, little session now and carry on doing my editing in this uh, particular job that I have so have a fantastic day and God bless